Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Fountain. Stereotypes are going to be around as long as there are humans on this planet. They cover all of real life as well as games. There are many stereotypes going around these days about the Roblox world too, and of course, some of them might be true and some not. Today, we'll look at the stereotypes of one of the most popular Roblox games, Adopt Me. Number one, the troller. Trollers are the people in the game Adopt Me whose actions discomfort other players and might also tease them. Most of the trollers are referred to as troll noobs, i.e. new players, as they don't know much to do in the game. The thing that these trollers do most of the time is that they push other players into the water just for fun. Number two, everything looks great. This is a common stereotype that whatever the avatar wears in the game, it looks great. In the game, players can change their avatar's appearance easily by buying their avatar, either from the catalog or the clothing store present in the game. Different accessories as well as clothes. Some players might think the more their avatar has, the more it looks good, but that's not true every time. Number three, the rich kid. It's the player in the game who loves to show off his or her pets. Every player in the game, of course, wants more and more pets, especially legendary and rare pets in order to beat the other players. And if a player has the kind of pets that they could easily show off, why won't they? This also makes the player look rich in front of fellow players. Number four, I am poor. It has been experienced by many players in the game that a random player appears and starts saying that they are poor, please donate, or have nowhere to go and nothing to eat. They keep on repeating these things unless and until they get someone's attention in the game. Many players do give that player an item, a house, or a pet. This way, that poor player gets a lot of free things. Number five, the dramatic role players. Some players in the game do different role plays. Most of the players think it is a fun activity, but sometimes these role plays might hurt the other players. Many players get into a conversation with other players and say what they actually want to by labeling the whole conversation as a role play. Number six, the scammer. This stereotype somewhat relates to the poor guy as sometimes the players are not actually poor, but still do this as a tactic to scam other players and most of the time succeeding it too. After receiving items from a player, they also clearly say that they have scammed him or her. The players in the game do also get scammed in the name of this trust trade. In this trust trade, one player first trades their pet, and after the other player accepts it, it's his or her turn to trade it back. But instead of trading back anything, the person just ignores the other player or says they won't trade back. Number seven, the chatter. The chatter is a player in the game who keeps on saying things from time to time to every other player he or she meets in the game. Even the things that the player does or says makes no sense at all, and it seems like this player only joined the game to chat with other players. Some players ignore the chatter, and some do start a conversation. Number eight, the big house. There are many players in the game who have got huge houses. The furniture and the items in the houses are also pretty impressive. It seems that these players have some kind of obsession with such things, but not with the pets in the game. It is mostly seen that the players with such houses do not have good pets, like legendary or rare pets, or might have one or two, but not the ones that should live up for the pets. The pets in Adopt Me have a lot of worth because of the different advantages they give their owners, but it seems that these players don't care about such perks. Number nine, best pets. These players are opposite of the players with great houses, as they have the best pets instead of best houses. They have the best pets, which include legendary pets like Frost Dragon, Giraffe, etc and rare pets like crow, reindeer, etc. Or any ultra legendary pet too. As all of these pets possess great abilities, they give many benefits to their owners. This may be the reason why these players prefer pets over houses. Number 10, not accepting trade. In Adopt Me, players can trade their pets with each other. Many do this on a daily basis in order to increase the number and diversity of their pets. But some players do not accept the trade from their fellow players. This might be because they do not give the pets they want in a trade or do not want to trade their pets at all. Or even because they are not ready to increase the number of pets. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.